talk. Good morning, fuckers. Wonderful weather we're having. Yep. What the fuck is up, guys? What's shaking? Am I in focus? No, I'm not. And I look like moist. Um, hi. Hello. Holy shit. Dude. What? I have not just sat down and filmed a video in a good moment in general, but definitely not since I've been at college. I've only posted one video since I've been here. So sorry about that. It's been an adjustment. For sure, it has been an adjustment. We're, we're getting through it. Therapy is weekly now. Hello, it's midterm. I have cried every single day for the past week. Every single day I wake up and I just shit myself. Like, it's nervous poop hours the second I wake up. This is, I'm gonna get to all of this. Hello. Hi, my name is Annika Osterlund, and I'm in college, as I do. It's week eight, drinking some green tea. Honestly, really good. It's definitely a tea vibe right now, for sure. Today, I'm gonna be talking, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I'm not gonna look this way the whole video. I did go to a class looking like this, yes. I did go to the class wearing Harvard sweatpants. I do not go to Harvard. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my experience so far at NYU. I know that I'm a little bit too late for the ED applicants, but I know that RD isn't until January, right? Honestly, I don't remember. I blocked out the entire college application process. <clears throat> I blocked it all out, but you know, if you're considering applying to NYU, let me give you let me give you some deets. As a freshman who has been here for eight weeks, a lot of people have been asking me to like give them information. Like I've been here for two months. I don't know. I'm gonna do my makeup too because I look like dog shit right now. Sanitize my hands because New York is gross. Tip number one: It's disgusting here. My friend told me that she saw somebody fully take a shit in the subway. Like pull down their pants and take a shit in the subway, like in the station, like on the ground, taking a shit in the subway station on the ground. First question that I get asked a lot about being here is people ask me like how I got in. Simple answer, I have no fucking idea. I don't think I should have gotten in. That was actually part of the reason that I was crying yesterday. I was like, why am I here? I don't feel like I deserve to have gotten in and I don't think I would have gotten in if, because I didn't submit SAT scores guys because of COVID. I didn't have to submit SAT scores. I didn't even take the SAT. And I feel like if I had taken the SAT and I had to submit it, I would not be here right now. So take everything I say in this section with a grain of salt because I'm a dumbass. A lot of people ask me what I wrote my essay about and you know, I really don't think it matters what you write your essay about as long as it's good and it shows that you have grown as a person and you understand yourself. You know, like that kind of thing. A mistake that a lot of people make is talking about all their trauma but not really addressing how they overcame it. You can talk about your trauma, girl. I mean like, Shit, I did. I mean, what's the point? You went through it all, you're not gonna get a good college essay out of it? Like, that's kind of the point of trauma, is it not? For me, I talked a lot about my YouTube channel and how my YouTube channel was a vehicle for me to express myself during a time when I felt really inhibited. But as far as like GPA and extracurriculars go, I talk about this in my college acceptance reaction video. I had like a 3.7 unweighted GPA. My school didn't do weighted GPAs. I only had two extracurriculars. I was the head of a club at my school and I had YouTube. Those were my extracurriculars. What I gathered from the college admissions process is they don't really want you to do a bunch of, they don't want you to have like a bunch of extra curriculars they want you to have things that you're passionate about especially if those things apply to your major my camera ran out of space so I did my eyebrows I look really good extracurriculars that pertain to your major so for instance I'm a media culture and communications major and so having YouTube obviously supported that and the club that I was ahead of was menstruation nation where we educated people on period poverty and we supplied the school with period products we like held fundraisers and stuff which falls under communications sometimes honestly if you just show that you're passionate about something something particular and then that relates to your major I feel like that's a good sign I don't know you guys be asking me questions like I'm a college counselor I got in here by the skin of my teeth bro I have no idea why I'm here right now one of the most common questions questions I get asked and one of the things that I was actually scared scaredest wow was the lack of a campus the shit that people say makes it feel like there's absolutely no campus there's no like community no school spirit which there isn't a lot of school spirit but that's like fine it's kind of like funny it's like I don't I honestly don't know what people are talking about I think that there's a campus it's not even that like the city is our campus it's like we have a campus it's just a very large campus that has like Trader Joe's and a Sephora on it and like other people live there too like it is a campus like you run into people that you go to classes with all the time it's just there are other people dispersed in there as well. I mean, I also don't have anything to compare it to. Obviously, I haven't been to another college. If I was a transfer to NYU, maybe I would feel like weird about having a college campus at one and then like having a different kind in another. But it's really just like, it is a campus. Washington Square Park is the quad. You'll see people that you know all the time in Washington Square Park. On weekends, people hang out there. Like, 
it's kind of cringe but it, it i mean it's a thing and it's just great dude i was talking to my friend on the phone and she goes to school elsewhere and she was like i want to invite this guy over but neither of us have any condoms and i was like walk to cvs and get some and she was like no i'm not in new york and i was like dude that sucks <laughs> You have everything you could ever want just at your disposal. It's perfect for people that don't have their shit together. It was 1 a.m. I had no food left in my dorm because I ate it all and I was like, fuck, I want Honey Nut Cheerios. So I go to the convenience store and I get Honey Nut Cheerios at 1 a.m. As far as the like independence goes, I consider myself like mentally independent. I feel like I can like think for myself and do all of that. But like physically independent, like bro, my mom was doing my laundry. My mom has been doing my laundry for 18 years. That's embarrassing to say. But it's, it's the truth. She just did. I didn't ask her to, she just did it. I mean, I know how to do laundry. I've done my own laundry at home before, but like, usually she's the one to do it, right? I know how to do my laundry. Wait, guys, don't worry. Anyway, I got here and like, I had to do my laundry, whatever. Like, I've never been like physically independent. My mom does a lot of shit for me, like grocery shopping. Like, but that's just kind of something that everybody has to figure out at college. It's not like necessarily more independence in New York, besides the fact that you need to like take control of your safety. You need to make sure that you're making safe choices, like walking home at night. Like, it is more dangerous to live here than go to college at like Syracuse. It's not necessarily more independence. It's just college. It's still college. I remember my college counselor, if you're watching this, hi, I love you. Things are going great. I need to send you an email. He really wanted me to go to Syracuse. Well, what he said was like, Syracuse is more of a classic college experience and New York is more like adult living. Bro, it's not. It's really not. NYU is not adult living at all. At all, bro. It's like, it's still very much college. It's very much like I eat in the dining hall. I can't afford to go out, so I just eat. I use my meal swipes. I don't like go to restaurants and stuff. I don't really budget my money. It's not really adult living and it's not that expensive to be a student here. It is a little bit, but you can get your groceries at Trader Joe's rather than Whole Foods and that shit's cheap. Anyway, it's not necessarily any more independence than it would be at a normal college. It's just a bigger city. It's more open, but you still have the community. You still have the campus. You're still close to your friends and you're still going to their dorms, which leads me to my next topic, which are the dorm. I'm in arguably the worst dorm at NYU, at least for freshmen. Like everybody shits on it. And even me being in the worst dorm, this dorm is still really fucking nice. Like this is a really fucking nice dorm. Like high ass ceilings, working plumbing, have not seen any roaches or rats in my dorm yet. Um, I've seen a lot of rats outside, but not inside. The only thing that's bad about this dorm and it's only the dorm that I'm in is that it doesn't have air conditioning. I was so upset when I got my dorm assignment. I was like, fuck. But Honestly, it's good. The dorms here are great. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I don't know. I think the dorms here are good. All the dorms I've been in have been pleasant to be in. But one thing about NYU dorms is that there are no communal bathrooms. Every single dorm, you have your own bathroom. That's a really good thing about NYU. I didn't even fucking think about it. No communal bathrooms, guys. The next thing I want to talk about, even though I'm like done with my makeup, I just need to do mascara, whatever. The next thing I want to talk about is people. You're going to meet a lot of different kinds of people here. A lot of interesting people. My high school was tiny. My grade had 65 kids in it. And and then my middle school, my grade had 19 kids in it. So I've always gone to tiny schools. So going to a school with 25,000 people or 30, I have no fucking idea. They're also graduate students I don't really know. Has been fucking insane. I always thought that I sucked and that's why I couldn't make any friends. I just couldn't make any friends because there were not very many people to choose from. It's honestly really easy to meet people. This is going back to the campus thing. A lot of people ask me, is it hard to make friends with the lack of the campus? Let me just, okay, let me tell you how I met my friends. So I came here with one friend from home. My middle school best friend, Olga had a best friend named Kaylee. I met Kaylee like once in middle school because Olga brought her to the middle school dance. But then we just didn't really talk. And then senior year, I told Olga, I was like, I'm going to NYU. And she's like, oh my God, Kaylee's also going to NYU. I was like, weird. So then Kaylee and I became best friends. Like we hung out twice over the summer and we got here and I was like, hey, like I'm gonna hold on to you for a minute. And then we became codependent. So anyway, on the second day at NYU, there's this thing called Welcome Week. And on Welcome Week, there will be a bunch of like clubs and like party things. And so we were like, okay, we're gonna go to this party called Project Deck. And I was gonna go to a girl that I had been talking to on Instagram. I was gonna go to her dorm and we were gonna like get ready and go together. And she also invited a few people and her sweet mate invited a few people. We were in the lobby going up to this girl's dorm and we met somebody who was also going to the girl's dorm and that was Libby. Like we just met Libby because we were both going to the same place. We were both going to the same dorm. At Project X, I met another two of my best friends. I met Arthur and I met Daniel in line for Project X. Like just, we met them in line. We just started talking to them. I met my friend Becca um, because she was crying in the hallway and I asked her if she was okay. 
and then we became friends. I've met people in Washington Square Park, I just sat down next to them, and also just people that I like talked to on Instagram before. I'm not friends with a lot of people that I talked to on Instagram, weirdly. One of my best friends, Alicia, who actually is one of the only people that I started talking to on Instagram that like I actually am best friends with. That's, that's how I met Alicia, from Instagram. So it's worth reaching out to people on Instagram because you never know. All to say, to make a long story fucking short, it's easy to make friends here. Everybody wants to make friends, bro. Everybody wants to make friends. I will say it is a little bit clicky. It's not awful. My high school is also really clicky, so I'm just kind of used to it. I think that that's just kind of the norm for me. What I'm trying to say is it's not hard to make friends. There are a lot of events, like dorm halls will have events and you can go to them and meet people in your dorm. I never went to those because, um, I'm lazy. Moving on to the course load and all of that. Something that I've noticed about NYU is that there are some like really fucking interesting classes and there's a lot of freedom to take classes that you wanna take. Like for my major, I think I have to take 16 credits of just unrestricted electives. So that means like any class at NYU, any class in any school, I can take it and I have to take it for my major. The course load is gonna vary majorly on what your major is and what classes you're taking, obviously. Actually, if you choose the major that's right for you, it's not gonna feel like that much work. I do get a decent amount of reading in my media class, but I enjoy the reading, and so it doesn't feel like that much work, and I don't really feel like I'm drowning. I also have significantly less work compared to my friend Arthur, who is a business major, and to my friend Kaylee, who is taking chem right now. I have way less work than she does, because I'm not taking chem. Honestly, honestly, yeah. If I can get through it, then you could get through it. That, that's, the, that's the moral of the story. On that one. Are we having fun yet, guys? Are you having fun? I'm having fun. NYU food is a meme, I think. It's not awful. And it was pretty bad when I first got here. I was like, wow, this sucks. But now it's kind of just like, that's like a, like, that's like home. It's like comfort food now. Cause like, that's like, it's home. This is home. And so the food I get at home, it's like home food. It's a home cooked meal. It's not awful. It's not bad. It is edible. I lost a significant amount of weight when I first got here. This is like personal stuff because when I got here, my dad had died three months earlier and I just got out of a really long-term relationship, but I have gained 10 of them back. So we're good and the food is sustaining. The moral of the story, I'm gonna be real with you guys, this is a great school. Why not just apply? Why not just apply? It's really funny because I applied to NYU and I forgot that I applied to NYU. I completely put it out of my head because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get in. And then I got in and I was just like, fuck. And you know, there are definitely moments where I'm like, I don't think I can do it. My water's ready. There are moments every day where I don't think I can do it, but honestly, I think that that's how it would be at any college. It's hard, and it's an adjustment waking up every day and having to go out into the city, waking up and just like walking out of your dorm and just being hit with like everything. It's a lot and it's overwhelming, but it's also energizing in the most amazing way. There's always something to do. It doesn't, it feels like a traditional college experience to me, but also because I don't know anything different. And my high school was kind of very similar to this in that, like, yeah, we had sports teams, but like, no. Nobody goes to the games and like yeah we have like a mascot but like what is it it's a give and a take you're gonna get some things and you're not gonna get some things I don't think there's any one school that has it all but I think that I'm happy here this is more of a self update some days are hard some days I do not want to get out of bed some days I want to go home but we're just trudging through and we're already halfway through the first semester and I cannot fucking believe that I cannot believe that I hope that this helps some of you guys I'm gonna try and post more frequently I'm gonna do some fun videos going out doing false stuff I don't know I don't know we're gonna figure it out but I hope that this helps some of you guys decide if you want to apply regular decision to NYU you or not, or maybe just if you want to hear about my experience at college so far, it's been good. I would rate it a solid 8 out of 10. That's how I would rate my experience these past 8 weeks. I love you all very much. I'll see you soon. Follow me on Instagram because I do be posting like every every two days on Instagram and on TikTok. Like if I'm not posting on here, just know. I do be on my phone. I'm always on my phone. I'm still here. I'm still kicking. Just barely. I am losing my sanity just a little bit, but I'm having fun while I'm doing it because I'm in New York. Ah! Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and... Stay thick.